Hello everyone, I'm Havoc, and this is Minecraft All the Mods 3. I'm over at the Mine Colony today, and I have been working on upgrading the builder here. Looks like we're lacking something. I did not... Oh, hey, there's the door. I did not gather all the necessary resources beforehand, and thus I am stuck getting what they need when they need it. It's not a pretty sight, but it's effective. No, it's not effective, but it works. <laughs> What's effective is getting all the resources beforehand, but that's not what today's episode is about. And I was just happened to be here doing this and decided now's a good time to start an episode and get you guys caught up a little bit. I have been unable to do a whole lot of recording or playing for a little bit due to some sickness, but now I am able to and we are back. So, I thought for today's episode, we would do a quick recap of what I've got going on over here. Again, it's almost a refresher for myself as well, because it's been a couple of weeks since I've been able to do anything. But it's also going to be to get you guys caught up, and then we're going to do a server tour. There are several other people that play on the server, and that have built some wonderful things. We're going to take a look at some of those. But first, we'll come over here. We have our base. I have not changed much. Um, like I said, I haven't played a whole lot. There's not a whole lot going on here other than downstairs. I have stopped growing things here because the server runs all the time and we are getting a mass of things built up. We also turned off most of the lasers. I think I have one running down there right now gathering resources because you could see the different colors. I started to fill up a few of the drives over here and I can just make more but that'll take time and resources that I have not devoted to that yet. But that's what's going on here. Uh, there's a few other things that a few other machines I want to get automated here so that I can start working towards deciding where I'm gonna build my spaceship and move into that and then expand that as needed. But that's the base over here. The colony I have, uh, let's see, I upgraded this house over by the farm. Let's drop in and take a look. And I'm getting ready to upgrade the farm here so it'll actually build the barn. But before I did that, I thought it would be a good idea to go ahead and upgrade the builder's hut. Wow, there's going to be a whole expansion here to the building. It's looking nice. I'm, I'm really, really enjoying the progress in the mine colonies mod and just watching the buildings progressive will get more complex and more of the colony itself popping up but that's not what we're gonna do here we're gonna pop over to oh yes and I haven't done anything with astral sorcery past getting the perks <laughs> I mean it is what I was looking to get into so yeah hey I got it and then I am gonna explore this mod more and build more things and you'll see why here in just a moment because actually pretty darn close to me is another player on the server let's, let's see right over here here we go who built in the sky and has this really neat design for his base I'm pretty sure you can we're gonna come up from the ground so let's go down here also they're using mods I've never used before I've never used portality but this is a portal I'm not sure where that goes. We might walk through that later, but you have this lovely little step up and then he has elevator blocks every so often to take you up and into the base up here. And this is Bananas Base. <laughs> he spells his name a little interestingly. But let, let's see if it's up here. No, just Banana Flotilla. <laughs> But yes, his name is Bananas, and he has this really neat design. I mean, I love the the block usage, the diversity, the multi-depth um, for everything. You know, instead of just having a flat wall, he's gone for these round shapes with arches, supports, and the color differences, too. Both of these are brick-like, but this one's dark, then it's gray, and then it moves to a thicker white brick. I mean, just... It's a really nice build. And he's got all kinds of weird things going on over here. Machines automated, a really nice reactor, which is not doing anything right now. <laughs> and 
some machines, some boxes. Let's see, is there anything below this? No, okay. Uh, let's put on my jetpack. But yeah, the design for his buildings is just really unique to me, which I like a lot. Okay, so he's got a system over here and things going. He has drills. Right here is an ore miner and a resource miner. Looks like he's got sections. Oh, so this is going to be his solar panel. It'll, I mean, honestly, if he keeps going with it, it'll get much bigger than this. But this may be as far size-wise as he wants to go. We'll see. What do we have up here? There you go. You can see Bananas Team when I past the threshold. Apparently this section over here is wilderness. There you go. Bananas team in the red there. So you can see how he spells his name. This is a really big smeltery with glass. I like it. And then this is his astral sorcery build which again he has a way over here without a jetpack but he has also flight so you can just fly around like I do. But look at this. It's really nice really nice and I love the wall there and the depth to the uh, you know the depth to his walkways where it just kinda sinks down good use of chiseled blocks he's got a much higher tier altar than I do Ooh, what is that oh, he's got it attuned to something here really really nice I mean look at this this is crazy amazing and really inspires me to push further into the mod as well once I get my spaceship started and rolling. There's a lot you can do with astral sorcery. And then over here he's got his little crops growing. It's really really nice to see. He, I mean look at the shapes and everything. Just really non-boxy linear builds. Very unique, very intriguing attractive to the eye to see all of the colors and shapes and designs and then he's got his open air kitchen here with milk coming from somewhere all the way over here oh, he's got a rancher milking cows uh oh I'm getting eggs let's turn my magnet off for this he needs a few more chickens clearly now look at all the chickens he's got. Goodness, he's got plenty of animals and even some crop trees over here. It's looking nice. It's also getting dark. Oh, it's not quite time to sleep yet. But this is the closest base to me and I really do enjoy it. Uh, the creativity and the very unique build style. And honestly, cobblestone is usually something people don't build a lot with when they're doing a really nice build. but Nanners has pulled off using cobblestone in many different forms and facets all over his build. Oh, I need wooden trap doors back at the base. I'll be back there shortly. I'm curious where this portal goes. Nowhere. <laughs> it may not be on right now. <laughs> Alright, so now what we need to do is look for where the next base is. And that's actually going to be much easier to access if I use Astral Sorcery. The gateway right here, which I haven't gotten into yet, is a teleportation device. So if we look around, Femboy, <laughs> okay, <clears throat> Diago, I believe this is Anzare, which you all probably know if you've watched videos on my channel. Yep, this is Anzare. Okay, so Andre's base up until this point has been primarily inside this little hole in the ground and he still has a lot of things here. Uh, this is very functional. Oh, looks like he's got AE started in here. Uh, seems like just the beginnings of it to get started with it, which is fine. Very interesting. Ooh, hey, Draconic Fusion Crafting. Yeah, that's another thing that I'll need to get into eventually. This is an amazing way to craft things, and I absolutely love watching it visually. He's got just all kinds of crazy stuff in here. Oh, he's got a kitchen and crops in the ground being automatically harvested. Everything you can imagine. 125 levels in that thing. Okay, but what I'm more interested in 
is going to be he's building somewhere nearby. Let's have a look. See right over this way, opposite direction of where I'm facing. Okay. He is going to move his build here into this amazing structure that he's got going here. Hold on. Let's, uh, cheese our way into this with an ender and now I'm inside the glass I might just keep that on my bar but yeah he's got black concrete but it's chiseled it gives you the speed boost but it looks different very smooth elevator blocks where do these go oh wow okay so it looks like this is where he's gonna put the brain of everything oh I saw one of these in his base it's probably his way in and out of here <laughs> But the, the shape, the glass dome, it all looks really nice. He's got these extra builds. And I think these ramps are where he will be expanding into more builds in this area. I love just looking out and seeing the squids. I do want to have some section of a build underground somewhere. Maybe a remote piece of my base. Because this, I just love the feel of this. And it's really neat too that Anzare decided to put some of the glass above the water. It offers a whole lot of natural light here in the center because if you get over here and you'll start to notice the light gets filtered as it's coming underneath the water and it can be a problem. Of course he has uh, torches here but using the glass above the water level is going to make this a really really nice build. Again, this is very work in progress, as a lot of things are on the server. It, this, um, what am I doing? I'm trying to go up above. <laughs> that elevator goes down. Here we go. Now I'm up above. Um, a lot of things on the server right now are still in a developmental stage. Everybody is playing around, doing fun things they enjoy, and still contemplating about what they want to build out of more permanent bases and no one has really got a good start on it that I know of. I mean, you, know, you might consider Nanner's base back there to be a pretty good start for getting kind of large. I mean, here it is on the map. Look at that. It even looks interesting on the map. Okay, so now we're going to need to head to Altiago's base, which we can do through the wonder of these little contraptions so where is this one the worst place okay so let's head over to Altiago's I, I told Diago I'm terrible at pronouncing names hope no one's offended <laughs> but this I've actually been here quite a few times again going for the glass dome build really neat you know, kind of section off your area from the wild, the uncontrolled wildness out. Ooh, almost didn't make it in through the door in time. I think that there's probably lights underneath this carpet, and then he just covered it with carpet, which is neat. It's a very interesting design. Glowstone in the trees. Not sure what this is exactly, other than just aesthetics. Here's the beds. And then the kitchen over here. I just love his use of the trap doors as a uh, accent wall for his ki little kitchen build here it's really neat and then he's got all that he needs in this tiny little bitty kitchen that kind of fits in here and he's got pipes bringing a vast amount of milk up from somewhere underneath here whoop okay let me just teleport into this section yeah, he's got several cow in a jars producing his milk and all kinds of lovely things. Let's go back up and try and use the approved methods of moving around the base. It's like a little flower garden, I'm guessing. Interesting. Okay, so we'll take these elevators down. And then we get here. Ooh, well that's new. That was just a flat floor the last time I was here. Oh, but I love, he's actually getting more things planted in his uh, hanging garden style planters here, which I can definitely appreciate. It looks very interesting. I love his use of interesting and 
non-square blocks here like the twilight spiral stone bricks then behind here I know I will look in the hole in just a minute but this are some doors Ooh. Ah, lava mills. Hmm, interesting. I love the glass so you can see it here. But he's got all kinds of little things back in here. Disenchanter and enchanter. Skystone shells. Chess. Oh, see, he's got another one of these portal things from Portality. Hey, matter transmitters, matter receivers. Uh-oh. Somebody's been traveling to other dimensions. <laughs> I'm going to have to get into that, too. Uh but I won't say anything about that in this video. That will be for a future video. Uh, but yes, there are many, many different dimensions in this mod pack. He just has a whole lot of machines in a giant wall. His machine wall. Oh wow, a Supremium Furnace. These things are wicked fast. I love the glowing of dark stone bricks from Abyssal Craft. Everything just really nice looking. Uh, he's got a mob farm. It's not active right now. Lava, lava fabricator. Okay. Takes power, creates lava. He's probably using that for his furnaces. Got, ooh, what do we got going in here? Resonant Ender, 98 gems. Wow. That one's looking empty. Iron storage crates. I love the use of just things that I don't normally mess with. I mean, like the lava fabricator. I normally don't mess with that. See, this just takes energy and produces lava. I would, normally how I would do it is throw cobblestone in a magma crucible from, it might be the same mod. <laughs> uh, but then have the, no, 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 it's not the same mod. It's thermals where the magma crucible's from. And this is, industrial foregoing but um, that's how I would generally make lava but it's not necessarily the the most effective way I don't know the most effective way it may be I don't know we'll keep it at that storage drawers lots and lots of resources and compacting drawers so you can take out the different variants which is very interesting I did not know that there were even variants for some like what is this is this a condensed glowstone block or <laughs> I'm slightly confused I don't know what some of these items are and that's okay another portal mining dimension but now let's take a look over here at this this seems to be oh oh this looks dangerous <laughs> Ritual altar from Abyssal Craft. Now I know why it's at the bottom of the world away from his base. No good things come from this structure here. No good things. Abyssal Craft is the mod of many evils. <laughs> so he just has that in a hole. Hey, that's from Abyssal Craft too. Really more. Down in the bottom of the world. Very interesting. I'm liking the new additions to the base I think that's all that I oops one more to level up I think that's all that I notice oh hey now I can just come straight here I'm gonna look around outside the dome just real fast to make sure I didn't miss anything it's a very nice sugarcane farm hmm oh, something over here oh yeah more items from Abyssal Craft. A statue. I'm not even going to try and pronounce the name. <laughs> oh, also, it's getting dark. Sleep on a solar panel. Let's see if we can find just the worst base, which I think there was a whoop, connector on here for it. So let's see. There it is. All right. Oh, oh, whoa. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. So I don't. I haven't been here. The last time I visited, just the worst. He was living on a sandy beach in a very cold biome. He's got his uh, tier five infernium seeds, fully grown. They're not automatically harvested by anything, maybe. Or that might be what this is supposed to do. 
and it's not functioning. Uh oh. Gonna have to take a look at that. All right, let's. Oh no. Okay, it's a decorative one. I was about to say he's got the statues. Step down here, and oh, I love the doors to block zombie pigmen from coming through your nether portal and bothering you. Water pool. This is obviously a trash can. You can't fall into it thanks to his very uh, intelligently placed iron bars. What are we getting? Oh, whoa! What are these large oak double doors? <laughs> from Melissa's doors. I love it. What's in here? Oh, portal to the deep dark. Some water mills that are flowing around to give them some grid power. They may be using rings for flight, and you need grid power for that. So we got a coal generator, an infuser. He has a smeltery. Oh, it's a, okay, here we go. What is this? Mossy stone bricks. I wonder if he built this or if he found this, because there are dungeons. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mess with anything. But, oh, he also has everything full. He needs to expand his storage. Is this may go back to Altiago, Altiago's base? Can we go down any further? No. Okay, so it looks like this is still very early in development. A lot of the guys also play with each other, so they'll go and do stuff together and uh, are always working on their base. I'm curious, does the portal work? Do I just walk through this and come out the other side? I think it's out of power or turned off. Wait a minute, what did that say? The worst claims. I don't really know what I'm doing here. Ah, yeah, that's, that's interesting. So it gives you a little command. All right, well, let's head back up. There's some interesting things. Again, I like just seeing the unique usages, the Melissa's double doors, just all kinds of really neat and interesting ways of doing things. But that is going to be it for today's episode. If you enjoyed it, feel free to hit the like button. And if you want to see more content like this, consider subscribing to my channel. And I will see you all next time.